What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at this. It is another Logitech product. Uh, I love Logitech products. I have way too many of them. Uh, and this was one uh, I was cleaning out uh, my office and I stumbled upon it and I figured we'll do a quick review here. So this is the Logitech K360 keyboard. Very portable, very slender uh, profile. It's perfect uh, for somebody who's mobile and on the go. Uh, so let's talk about it. Comes in a lot of different colors. First, this is the glossy black. Uh, it's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it does clean up very nicely. But it comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, there's an ivory. Uh, there's this one that's got like looks like it has little ink stains on it. A lot of different um, kind of artistic different styles of it. You can get this one called fuchsia burst. Uh, they're all very very cool, very artistic uh, looking. But this is just a plain black one. It retails uh, for $29.99 on Logitech's website. You can get anywhere between $20 and $50, depending on what color scheme uh, you get. But they're all the same. They all function just exactly the same. So let's take a look at this. Really nice reflective uh, surface here. Uh, up on the top here, if I can... Uh, figure it out here. Uh, up on the top here, we've got some media keys, your uh, go back, play pause, and skip forward button. Uh, on this side, we've got uh, some volume keys for mute and lower volume and raise volume. Uh, and this is the power switch. Uh, while we're talking about the power switch, uh, this does have a three year, yes, three year, not three month, three year battery life. It uses, uh, on the back here, uh, we've got a little compartment that comes off, uh, two AA batteries, and they uh, include the batteries in the package, and you won't have to replace them for three years. Very low power consumption. Uh, it is not a Bluetooth keyboard uh, while, we're on, while we're on that topic. Uh, it uses uh, Logitech's unifying receiver, uh, which is a small little uh, dongle. I'll actually get one. Try not to unplug my Bitcoin miner. Um, one like this. It's got that little orange uh, logo on there. If that orange logo matches the orange logo that's on the back of this, uh, it's a device that can use that. And you can connect up to 12 different devices, keyboards, mice, headphones, other things like that, using that Logitech uh, 2.4 gigahertz proprietary uh, receiver. And it works very, very well. That's how they can really maximize their battery life. Uh, but it's really for mobile laptop users. It's a pretty small keyboard. Uh, not the smallest, uh, but it does have a nice uh, number pad over here, which is always a uh, nice addition. Uh, slip it into any bag, uh, but keep in mind it's not Bluetooth or anything like that. Uh, so you won't be able to use it with a phone or other things like that unless you get uh, some special OTG cables uh, to use this USB adapter. Price is great. I used it for a really, really long time. Uh, it's a wonderful keyboard. Uh, for example, my my uh, desk here is is very, very cluttered at at all times. Uh, and if I want, if I need to, you know, fit something in there, a nice small keyboard, it works very, very well. It's very, very quiet. Uh, as you know, I'm I'm typing on here. It really doesn't make uh, too much noise, um, but it feels great. Keys are are nice and raised up. They're not, you know. Uh, you know, really flat and sunk in there and, and inexpensive. So it does have switches in it. It is a pretty nice uh, keyboard. You also have uh, up top here, along with your F keys, uh, these are also uh, different function buttons. Uh, so you can use some for, you know, launching a music program or launching your email or, or going to a home page. Uh, and all of those can be programmable. You can also program different buttons uh, to launch a calculator. Uh, or, or turn on your PC or lock your PC or other things like that. So uh, along with the F keys, uh, all of them are programmable through uh, Logitech's uh, software. And you can find all that software online. Uh, you won't find a CD or other things like that uh, when you get uh, the product. On the back, uh, you've got our battery compartment here, which we took a look at. Uh, but also it has these really nice, uh, pretty sturdy flip-out legs uh, that don't, don't really break or bust uh, and it, it, it gives you a really really comfortable uh, raised up uh, position and I, I, I prefer to have that raised up keyboard myself so that's something that uh, I take advantage of uh, very often but a really wonderful keyboard I can't say enough about it uh, it cleans up very well uh, it will get a little bit dirty now and again as as every uh, keyboard does 
but I, I've, I've been impressed with it. I've used it for a long time uh, when I used to travel and other things like that uh, quite a bit. Uh, this was always in my laptop bag. Nice unifying receiver. Uh, I had a couple different mice that I would switch between. Um, and I would, you know, maybe upgrade my Logitech keyboard or my mouse or other things like that. That adapter would always stay in there. I would simply have to uh, pair a different keyboard and uh, toggle the on-off switch. And if, if the device is off, obviously it's not going to work. Um, so really easy uh, to switch back and forth between devices uh, with this Logitech uh, unifying receiver. So uh, that's about it. Uh, it's, it's really only just a keyboard. Um, I don't think I had anything else to mention. Uh, yep, that's about it. Uh, Logitech's website is is pretty basic. Uh, setup is easy. It's you know between twenty and forty bucks. The unifying receiver is absolutely fantastic. If you don't wind up using this keyboard like I am, uh, these unifying receivers are a godsend. Uh, all of all of them work. I've got them plugged into every single computer that I have here in the office. And uh, some Logitech product or another is uh, hooked up to that. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Um, questions or concerns, you know, leave the uh, comments in the section below. I will be around to answer them uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, but just wanted to do a quick review uh, before I, I do a little bit of spring cleaning and, and get this out of the office. So uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, next video coming up will probably be... Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get into some Bitcoin. Uh, that's uh, I did a quick unboxing video, uh, but there's a lot that, that I don't know about Bitcoin, so I'm going to do some research and then maybe share that with you and talk about Bitcoin 101 and, and how to get a wallet set up and how to start you know, making a little bit of money here and there and is it worth it and that kind of stuff. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.